Now, uh, not long ago, I uh, saw a fascinating story about uh, four young American recruits into the AFL. We've got one of them here. He's going to join us in a moment. But, uh, you know, the AFL, of course, used to be just the VFL, and it was pretty much players just from Victoria. Then it was players from around Australia. Uh, 25 years ago, we started seeing the first Irish recruits into our game. Uh, Jim Steins, of course, everybody remembers. Sean White, of course, also at the Melbourne Football Club. And, I mean, these days you've got so many good Irish players. But American players. Mike Pike is a Canadian. He played rugby union for Canada, now plays uh, football to a very high standard for the Sydney Swans. And, uh, obviously, he's got his eyes set on another premiership with the Sydney Swans. Joining me in the studio right now is a young man from uh, Chicago, Illinois, where, curiously, I grew up. You wouldn't detect it in my accent, but I did. Uh, his name is Jason Holmes. He's six foot eight. He was recruited by the St Kilda Football Club, currently playing with the Sandringham Zebras, and he joins us now. Uh, Jason, good afternoon. Yeah, thanks for having me. Now, tell me, uh, I understand up until a year ago, you'd never even heard of Australian rules mm. football. What, uh, what made you come halfway around the world to play this game? Um, just the thought of the prospect of doing something new. Um, you know, I've played sport my whole life, whether it was basketball, soccer, football, baseball. And um, it just, when I had the opportunity to, to finish up college and potentially play basketball overseas, um, this opportunity came up to, to, you know, play professional sport. That was something completely different. Uh, there's a fascinating video. At the moment, all the AFL clubs have got a competition going for short films. And there's a good one that the Carlton Football Club has done. But, I mean, I saw your one for St Kilda. Mm -hmm. And uh, I gather your, your father was a, was, was a player in uh, the NBA. Mm -hmm. uh, you're, you've got a brother who plays uh, American football in the NFL. So yeah. obviously you come from a very sporting family. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, uh, my dad played, he played predominantly overseas for 12 years, played basketball overseas. Um, uh, he was drafted by the 76ers um, early, around when I was born, actually. And yeah, Dre plays for the Raiders now. So a younger brother as well who's looking to play basketball overseas. Maybe you can get him on an NBL team or a Siebel team out here. So, so what was what was their reaction when you said, I'm going to Australia to play, play in this thing called the AFL? Yeah, they, um, they supported me 100%. So when I showed the, the first you know, YouTube clips and, and um, had a chat with my family about getting a call to go to a combine, they were like, this is the kind of sport you'd love to play. Mm. Combined everything I played as a kid, and um, they backed me all the way. How do you find the physicality of the game? Because, I mean, basketball is a physical game, but obviously Australian rules, you've got tackling, bumping, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. Yeah, I'm still learning. Um, I had an opportunity over the weekend to, to crash a few packs, and um, <laughs> you just kind of you have that thought go through your head like, oh, just throw your shoulder in there and, and have a go. But, um, uh, yeah, I think seven months ago when I first started learning how to tackle, it's, it's, uh, I, didn't expect, I didn't expect to catch on so quickly, I guess. Yeah, but... Our game's a funny game because it's pretty much the only code of football that doesn't really have an offside rule. You know, you can mm -hmm. people can come at you from any direction. You yourself can run in any direction you want. Mm -hmm. You can go wherever you want. Did you find that um, a bit strange or a bit different? Uh, well, I played soccer a lot as a mm -hmm. kid, so uh, kind of similar. Uh, just you know, field position games and and um, uh, yeah, it was. It was a bit different, I guess. I think the really thing that the thing that caught me early on was how big the ground was mm. and how much space you had to cover. Did you find all the running that you have to do in our game? Is that is that been difficult for you? Because we know that when players cross over, which they occasionally do from one of the rugby codes, mm -hmm. they really struggle with the fact that you know they might run ten or fifteen kilometers during a game. Mm -hmm. how, how did you find it? Yeah, pr uh, pretty difficult. But I knew that um, coming into it, that'd be something I need to work on, and. Um, uh, the the club did a great job in in, in easing me into it and, and getting me ready for um, you know game like situations and running ten to fifteen. So um, I still have a long I still can get better and I'm looking forward to that in the off season. Yes, well you'll find it's one of those games where you've always got something to learn. Um, if you'd like to have a chat with Jason, ask us uh, any questions nine six nine hundred six nine three thirteen thirteen thirty two. See, I personally have always been fascinated by people who who cross codes. Mm -hmm. I, I played a little bit of rugby union. I actually played American football for a short yeah. time overseas. <laughs> And I've always thought that there's different things you can learn from different sports that mm -hmm. you can bring to sports. You know, um, in our game, the ability to kick the ball a long way with either foot yeah. is something we do, I would say, better than anybody. Yeah. And yet, you know, rugby and American football, the tackling is such a big part. What, what, what are some of the things that you reckon you, you bring to Australian rules football? Um, leaping. Yeah, you're very um, tall. Six yeah, foot eight. So, <laughs> um, so I'm still, still trying to... Uh, take marks as high as I can mm. and, um, and, you know, beat everyone to the ball in the air. But um, especially in the ruck contest, um, uh, center bounce, I just love getting in there and just, you know, jumping over the other ruck. Mm. And, yeah, uh, well, that's, that's a great thing to be able yeah. to do. Um, what are the things you found hardest? Um, reading the flight of the footy. 
Yeah. So especially on windy days, you have to kind of readjust based on whatever, whichever way the wind's blowing in that quarter. And um, I found that probably the most difficult thing. How's your kicking going? I mean, have you? I, I gather that when you started playing our mm-hmm. game, you, that was something you really hadn't yeah. done much of before. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'd kick the soccer ball as a kid. Um, punt. I used to punt for my football team in high school. Um, so yeah, it, it's it's come a long way. Um, I still I still have a bit to learn as far as uh, it, game style. I get some of the game style kicking done, and and when I have a chance to have a kick in the game, I, I won't try not to pass up on it. But. Um, <laughs> Uh, still, I'm a lefty, so still predominantly left-footed with my kick. Well, that's an enormous advantage. I mean, it is in, in many codes, but in our yeah. code particularly, look at the Hawthorne Football Club, which mm-hmm. is so they, they deliberately recruit left-footers yeah. just to confuse other sides. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, 9-6-9-6-9-3, Stephen joins us. Good afternoon, Stephen. Good day, Tom. Uh, Jason, I had this argument with my American brother-in-law from America, and um, he claims that our game is... Uh, wimpy compared to gridiron because um, you know the way we play it. Do you find that our game is a lot tougher than yours without all the padding and the helmet? <laughs> no, that's that's a, a a great argument to have because I I have that argument with my brother as well. Mm. I tell him that um I'm tougher than him because we tackle without pads, <laughs> and um obviously he's not trying to hear that. But I, I think that this game is by far the toughest sport to play in the world. Um, nowhere else do you do you tackle without pads, lay your body on the line and then run as far as we do. And um, it takes so much athleticism, strength, courage, and toughness to play this game, and I don't think any other sport can, uh, can match up with it. We'll go to more calls in a moment, nine six nine hundred six nine three. Very quickly, Jason, which of the um, of the players that you've seen that play our game at the top level, it could be any club, not just St mm-hmm. Kilda, which are the ones who impress you the most? Um, oh, geez, there's so many. Um I mean, I think, for, for example, Mike Pike, who plays yeah. for Sydney, is probably the closest you would have as someone who's come from North America playing in the ruck. Uh, man, I'm, I'm drawing blanks because I sit there every day and, and watch on the weekends and, like, Friday nights before games and stuff. And um, um, I, I usually get pretty impressed with midfielders that just get it done. Mm. I think I think Kennedy for the Swans actually impressed me the way that he attacks the footy and uh, stoppages. And um, Obviously, Gary Ablett Jr., when I saw him play, I, yeah. I was able to watch we're at Eddie Head for the first time they played St. Kilda this year, and just to see how easily, he just makes it look so easy. I know, right? wherever he is, that's where the ball is. <laughs> uh, more calls for Jason in a moment, 9600693, it's a quarter to four. Um, Jason, a number of Australians, uh, starting with, with Darren Bennett, but there's been quite a few others, have made their way to the States and, and forged, uh, I think Sav Rocker is another, yep. forged quite a good career as punters in the NFL. Um, do you think maybe that's something more Australian footballers should look at doing? Oh, it's it's funny because the boys always joke about well, when their careers are done, they'll go punt the NFL. Mm. Um, yeah, I think it's possible. I think um, you guys have you guys grow up kicking the footy, whether it's a drop punt or or a tour, your whole life. Surely you can pick up NFL ball and, mm. and boot it down sixty yards and. My, my my father, when I was very young, tells me when we lived in Chicago, he said, oh, he used to have a kick of the American football with mm-hmm. Americans that he met. And, he, and he'd say, go further back, go further back. I'm going to kick it a long way. And they, they never, they'd never believe him. Um, <laughs> also, have you had much to do with any of the um, the Irish recruits at any club? I'm not aware if St Kilda's got any at the moment. So have you yeah. encountered any of those? Uh, yeah, so we we don't have any at St Kilda. But um, when I came to the Combine in October, uh, Daniel Flynn was... Yeah. Um, going through the, through the hoops as well, and the, uh, Port Adelaide picked him up. Because mm. yeah. they're, they're an interesting one. It's just weird that there's, you've got this game of Gaelic football, which yeah. in many ways is similar to our game, and yet they evolved, mm-hmm. they evolved entirely separately. Uh, Jeff, good afternoon. Hello, Tom. How are you going? Yeah, good, Jeff. Just a question for Jason. I was just wondering uh, what was his initial reaction when he, when he realised he had to play the game without padding? <laughs> um, when I saw the highlights, I was like, I wasn't sure how that'd go, and especially they show the, the clips of, um, you know, guys colliding in each other in in, uh, in the air. But um, uh, I noticed that the idea is not to get tackled. So as opposed in football where they're running into each other with pads on, um, I, I feel I feel pretty confident playing football without padding. <laughs> and I guess the good thing about our game is you've got that room on the ground to run around. I mean, yeah. I mean the actual area of an Australian rules ground is massive compared to a, a rugby or an American football mm-hmm. pitch, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, Marty, hello. G'day, guys. How are you going? Yeah, good, thanks. Uh, I've got a question for you, Jason. Have you kicked or do you know what a torpedo is? Uh, 
I haven't kicked them in a game yet, but um, I'll have a crack every now and then at training and just see how I can do and compare to the boys when they kick one. Now, what, what do the coaches say about torpedoes these days? Because it was actually, when I was playing football in the 80s and 90s, uh, it was sort of frowned upon a bit, you know, because mm-hmm. the torp is seen as not being very precise. You know, the drop punt is a, is a better kick. So yeah. are you allowed to do them? Uh, we haven't really talked about it in the club. I think for the most part we understand just there's no need to kick one. It's mm. just... It's not in the game at the moment, but um, one of my Sandy teammates kicked one in the game uh, Saturday, and when I saw I saw him lining up for it off the boot, and I was just like, oh, that's pretty. <laughs> and and did, did it go where he wanted it yeah, to go? Yeah, he got it inside 50. Oh, uh, that's good. <laughs> now, I understand there's a, there's a rookie from New Zealand uh, who you become friends with, uh, yeah. Joe Baker Thomas. What, what, what's his background? Uh, so his background is rugby. Rugby. Um, so he's an um, international scholarship player, uh, just turned 18 this year. Um, yeah, he's come along really well this year as well and can't wait to see how he goes once he starts growing into his body. It is just fascinating for us because, again, this is our sport is one of the most parochial sports. It's not even played across Australia. Mm-hmm. You know, and, to, and to have people such as yourself coming here and wanting to be part mm-hmm. of it is, you know, is interesting. Broader life here, I mean, in some ways people say Australia is quite similar to the States. What, what, what's your reaction been? Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty similar. I, I tell people back home that it's, 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 it's similar enough yet different at the same time. Mm. You just... Don't really know. You can't really put a uh, finger on the subtle, subtle difference, uh, differences. But, All yeah. right. Well, look. So, what, what, what's the uh, what's the goal over summer for you? Um, so, the goal over summer is to uh, get home and and see the family a bit. Um, I'll come back earlier than when training starts, so I can get into uh, good form and, and have a real crack at uh, the off season before getting into the preseason. Fantastic. Well, yeah. look, I really appreciate you coming in today. Good luck with this. I think your story is a fascinating one. We've got a wonderful video that uh, Jason Hill put together. We'll stick it on our Facebook page, 3AW Drive with Tom Elliott. It is well worth a look. Jason Holmes of the St Kilda Football Club and the Sandringham Zebras via Chicago. Thank you very much for Thanks, your time. Tom. Thanks for having me.